Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at how we can offer free shipping rates as a kind of offer through our Shopify store. So there is the way, you know, where we could have free shipping set up for certain products or we can set that for over a certain amount. But in this we're going to do it as more of, um, you know, it could be an offer incentive. So let's say, for example, um, through uh, a certain month or a couple of weeks we're going to offer free standard shipping so we're just going to have a quick look at that so I'm just in my kind of development store and what we're going to do is go in and we've got a couple of products here that we can just kind of mess around with and, and we can add those and then under our shipping so we're going to go to settings down in the bottom left and then we're going to come to shipping and delivery and then under general you just need to make sure you've got a shipping profile set up so just for this all I've done is I've set one up that's so $4.99 and $2.99 so express obviously it's more expensive than standard and then just from there it, they're not anything special you know they're just adding a rate one standard one's express put the price in and then I've hit done and that's that's all they are. So what we're looking at in this is to give people the opportunity to have free shipping, uh, let's say over £25 in this. And the issue I see a lot of people having is that they, they don't seem to be able to, um, they, they end up giving away things like express shipping for free when they shouldn't be. So what we'll do is just have a quick look at that. So what we'll do on the front end of the store, if we just add this and we'll just add uh, let's say six of those and then you can see that comes to 30 pounds we'll put in a couple of tests just into here Yeah, if we just put in 10 test street and then I'll just put in London let's have a credit for a test London postcode there's one there that'll do for us and then we've got our shipping rates 2.99 4.99 and we're looking to offer the standard rate for essentially for free over 25 pounds so what we're going to do is we'll come back out of the checkout just quickly and then we're going to go to our discounts tab and you can see i've got one in there that just <laughs> gives people free orders um, go to create discount and what we'll do is we'll go to the free shipping discount and what we're going to do you can have it so it's a discount code um, but a nicer way really to do it for free shipping is just to do it as an automatic discount so people can either enter a code you know like free ship it's probably better that one's a better one if you're sending the code out in an email or something and you know like a newsletter and you don't want everyone to know it but if it applies to everyone you may as well make it a um, make it an automatic discount and we'll just do free shipping over £25. Um, now this is up to you um, if you want to offer free worldwide shipping or you just want to do selected countries um, I'll just do United Kingdom because you know I don't want to uh, be paying a lot for for the additional shipping so it's free shipping over £25 and then if we do that we could just say UK only or probably nicer word in <laughs> free UK shipping over £25 um, and then what we want to do is exclude shipping rates over a certain amount and this is important so what we'll do is we'll exclude shipping rates that are over £2.99 and then that includes our standard shipping rate but it doesn't include our express shipping rate and we also want to put in our minimum purchase which we've said is going to be £25 um, it's up to you if you want to do a minimum quantity of items you don't have to do it that way you know you could say buy five items get free shipping um, a lot of that relies on the pricing being similar you know because otherwise they could buy 
five one pound items or two one pound items and get free shipping so we're just going to do it on a set amount and we will say that um people for this one you can combine um discounts you don't have to but you can check it to combine discounts and on this we're just going to say that they can do that so if i set up other ones i'm going to set it up so we can combine the two and the nice thing about it because it's a coupon and not a shipping rate itself we can set an end date for it so you know we can just say at the end of the month i just want that to end so something like that and then we can just say once the month's um oh, that's not actually done that right that's the wrong date once the month's over that's the end of the um of the the free shipping term so actually that's the end of the month there <laughs> it's not doing very well in that calendar um and then you know that will just remove itself so then we can just save that and then what we've got is 30 pounds worth in the in here so what we're going to do is just take that down to 20 pounds worth go to checkout we should have our address still in there two pounds 99 for delivery you can see that reflected up there and then what we'll do is come back and we'll make that five and then this is right on the borderline so 25 pounds it should give us our free delivery and you can see there we've got free standard delivery but our express delivery is still four pounds 99 so 25 pounds flat fee because we've got the free ship in here um, and remember whatever you call your um, whatever you call your discount so we've got um, sorry free UK shipping over 25 pounds that's going to display there so don't put any little notes to yourself or anything like that it does say down there that they can see it in the cart and the checkout so um, just make sure that that is sort of <laughs> uh, customer friendly wording in here so free shipping over 25 pounds I understand why they got the discount the discounts there but then if they want to do express shipping they fall outside of that and then it becomes 29.99 so that's all correct and then what we could do um we've already saved that so we, we can just leave that page um in our theme I'm, i've just got the debut theme installed you know you've probably got this on your theme somewhere it might look slightly different um, but if you come into customize under the header, um, we've got show announcement and then you can see we've got the announcement bar here and you know if you could make that whatever color you want, make it blue or something and then just kind of say uh, free shipping, sorry free UK shipping on all orders over £25 and then uh, and then you know you could say uh, whatever it is if it's in March or um, whatever it might be and then you've got that set up it's got an end date just remember when you get to the end of this um, like if you save it obviously it just shows up at the top of your top of your store um, when you're done with it just hide your announcement bar at the end of the month it's just like that's a bit of a manual thing you'll just have to remember to do that um, but the discount itself will just end itself on the end date that you've set. So you've got your um, you've got your automatic voucher in there working. So um, yeah, that was just to kind of explain it. I had a couple of people saying to me that they didn't quite understand sort of how that worked and if they had to set up separate shipping rates. There are times where setting up uh, separate shipping rates can be the better option, but. You know, it, just for like a bit of a coupon, it, it's fine to kind of do it this way. There's no, uh, there's no kind of issue with that really. So um, yeah, it just it, you you can sort of decide for yourself one way or the other. Um, the the one thing about um, about this one, it's it's free shipping, uh, and this is for all products essentially. So um, one thing to bear in mind is that. Um, there's no product exclusions here so um, if you have something that's very heavy um, and it's over 25 pounds and you actually don't want to offer um, standard shipping on that because it's going to cost you too much and the margins don't work that's when a shipping rate is the better option for you really but this 
kind of can apply to most stores that are selling you know kind of standard stuff nothing too big or bulky don't kind of fall into that but that's probably the only consideration to sort of bear in mind that if you do have any very heavy items they're going to fall into this too so just kind of be aware of that when you're making these discounts but yeah hopefully you found that helpful if you have um give the video a like if you've got any questions just leave them in the comments and uh if you want to see more content like this please subscribe